Good morning students, this is Asha, your social science teacher. Today, we are starting with social and political life, that is civics. And we'll be starting with chapter 1 in civics, which is the Indian constitution. So children, you must have heard word constitution earlier also. What exactly this constitution is? So let's try to understand what it is. Constitution is set of rules, laws and principles according to which a state is governed. So any country is ruled or governed by some set of rules and regulation. And like you play a game of football or a cricket, there are some rules. In football, you have a rule that you have to pass ball through your foot. Only goalkeeper is allowed to use hands. So there are some rules. There are some rules in cricket. So in the same way, when you run a country, there are some rules and regulation. And where are these rules and regulation written? These rules and regulation are written in a book called Constitution. In the same way, besides being rules and regulation, it defines what a country is. Right? It defines a form of government. You must have studied different forms of government in a country like... Um, democratic government, um, parliamentary form of government, presidential, monarchy, theocratic. There are different forms of government and types of government. So the constitution of country reflects what type of government or a political system it will be having. Second thing, the most important which it defines is the powers and functions of various organs of the government such as legislature, executive, judiciary. So what are the functions of different organs? You must have studied in grade 7. There are three organs of government such as legislature, executive, judiciary. Um, like legislature is the one which makes laws, executive works on implementation, judiciary take care of law and order situation. So they what all their function is what are their power is all this is clearly defined in constitution so different what are what would be the organs what will be their powers everything is clearly defined in constitution plus the relationship between state and individual children the word state you will be uh, listening a lot of time or reading a lot of time in this book so what exactly state here? State here does not mean state like Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan or any state or capital. Here in your book, state would refer to a country, a nation. So relationship between state means a relationship of a country with its individual as a government. State means government, uh, what it would be like people and its rights and duty. So what will be the relationship of a government with its individual? And what will be the different rights given to the individual in its country and what will be their duties? So every right has a corresponding duty attached to it, which is also clearly mentioned in constitution about rights and duties. We'll study in the later part of the chapter. Now, why does a country need a constitution? So, yeah, we are studying the constitution should be there, but why? The constitution lays out certain ideals and objectives which a country should follow. So constitution always lays some ideals and objective which a country should follow. Every country has its own ideals on which they will work and objectives which they will thrive to provide to its country men. The second purpose of constitution is to define the nature of political system. So constitution clearly defines what are the what kind of political system that particular country will be having. A country's constitution defines the political system. Like we do have a parliamentary form of government. We have two houses, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha. How representative are chosen for Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha? What all the procedure and how it will be done? Everything in detail political system like we have a federal system center and state how the uh, representative will be elected everything is clearly mentioned in constitution 
constitution puts limitation on elected representatives of the people so that they cannot misuse the powers so what constitution does what it does it uh, put limitation on the elected representative suppose you have elected a particular person as their representative and they have been given powers they can misuse their power so in order they do not use their uh, misuse their power we do have put some restrictions on their power so in constitution it clearly defines what all their powers are and what to what extent they can use and in case they are misusing whichever power has been granted to them what the next step can be taken by taken on them that is also clearly defined in constitution and constitution should clearly define these things otherwise mis of misuse of power is a real problem so children today um, as we are talking about constitution so most important thing in a constitution is preamble preamble is the introductory part of constitution what it does it is a kind of um, introduction to what whole constitution is it tells us what as a country we are where idols are and what are objectives so here i read out the constitution to we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india as sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure all citizens justice liberty equality and fraternity so children the upper part of this uh, preamble tells the ideals of the country we are sovereign socialist secular democratic republic right so children i would like to inform you socialist and secular words were added in our constitution afterwards uh, uh, not uh, they were added in our constitution by 42nd amendment in 19 Seventy-six, and the next part, secure all citizens. So our objective to give every citizen of country is justice. Here, social, economic, and political. So justice should be social, economic, political. All kinds of justice are is our objective to provide. Next is liberty. Liberty means a kind of freedom, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship. we give every individual liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and opportunity and to promote among all them so we a main objective is equality you must have studied in grade 7 as well uh, status of opportunity and to promote them among all so everybody should have equality and fraternity fraternity assuring the dignity of an individual and unity and integrity of the nation so fraternity is in the form of dignity of individual every individual dignity would be preserved and unity and integrity of the nation so this is our preamble which gives a brief idea of our constitution our constitution is the lengthiest constitution and there are some interesting and amazing facts attached to constitution which we will discuss in next part of the um, lecture so children when we are discussing about constitution so there is one thing that every democratic country have a um, constitution but it doesn't mean that every country which is which is having a constitution would be democratic right so there are like countries which are not democratic they are monarchy or dictator uh, ship government is running but they also have their constitution but whatever democratic country they it is a necessary that they should have a constitution so don't get confused right all democratic have a constitution but all countries having their constitution cannot be democratic because dictatorial government might have a constitution but it will have some dictatorial things written in their constitution right so this concept will try to understand by a story of nepal what happened in nepal in recent past nepal was a center of lot of insurgencies and upheaval in the government there were a lot of change of government which took place in 
uh, Nepal history. So in tomorrow's lecture, we'll uh, do a brief case study of Nepal, how Nepal was monarchy and then it became democracy, uh, and then again monarchy and the democracy and how they already had a constitution, but they started writing a new constitution. So that all we'll study tomorrow. And what we did today, let's do a recap. So we studied what exactly constitution is and why does a country needs a constitution, what all constitution defines, what all are included in it and what is preamble. That's all we did today. So tomorrow we'll do the case study of Nepal. That's all for today. Thank you.